Welcome back to the Education-Based Marketing Series. In the next few minutes, we will explore a five-step process to implement a check-in marketing strategy. This continues our previous video series on location-based marketing. The first I in the process is identify. What do we need to identify? First and foremost, what are the objectives of this campaign? Do you want to increase repeated visits and customer loyalty? Do you want to focus on revenues? Or maybe to create a media buzz? Once we have made our objectives clear, we need to identify our target market. Check if the target market is predominantly male or female, because according to recent studies, the majority of location-based apps users are male. Age is also a factor. Statistics show that today, most location-based apps users are young, male, and well-educated. Is this your target? Once objectives and target markets are made out, we need to identify key performing indexes. Those are the parameters that will measure our campaign success. If we are looking to increase the number of visits, the KPI will measure the trend on check-ins numbers. So this is our first step, identify. The second I step is to implement. And by implement, I mean claiming your business throughout the popular platforms. While the questions and definitions might change, you will find that the process is very similar on most of them. We will focus most probably on one or two according to the parameters identified in step one. Step two is to implement. Step three is to create incentives that will influence customers to visit your venues. These are the perks we offer customers for checking into your place. Rewards can take many shapes and forms. Because many of these platforms are also games, you can offer virtual rewards such as pins, badges, and even virtual titles like being the mayor of your business. Specials are more than virtual rewards. They offer your customers tangible benefits such as free food, discounts, giveaways, donations, and more. And coupons? Well, coupons are coupons. But if we offer them to people close by, it adds an additional level of relevancy to them. Step 3 is to find incentives to influence customers to choose your place. Step 4 is to inform and invite your customers. Location-based marketing strategies should be part of the marketing mix and therefore, we need to integrate them on other promotional efforts. Let's take three of the badges we saw before. If we look at the web pages of the same brands and business, we will see how they incorporated their LBM strategy and invited their customers to participate. Step 4. Inform, Invite, Integrate. The fifth and last step is to investigate. Do you remember the key performance indexes we identified in step 1? Now we measure our results and compare them with our original objectives. As we can see, the statistics on gender were quite accurate, same as age. Here we can draw conclusions regarding the afternoon new offers. And if generating visits was one of our objectives, this parameter shows we're doing quite well. Now, what do we do with this information? We go back to step 3 and improve the incentives to get better results. Let's recap. First step, we identify objectives, target markets, and ways to measure success. Second step, we claim your business through the different platforms. Step 3, we create ways to influence prospective customers to visit your place offering different incentives. On step 4, we make sure that the location-based marketing strategy is totally integrated with your marketing mix. Last but not least, on step 5, we investigate the results. And then, we come back to step 3 to continue improving your business location-based strategy. And that summarizes our 5 eyes process for location-based marketing and check-in apps. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us. If you want to start increasing your customer base and revenues with mobile tools, give us a call or check our website at www.georillas.com. For our online classes on location-based marketing, send us an email to elearning at Thank you.